Today we're going to talk about what happens when you buy a tarot deck. Hi, my name is Amethyst Mahoney of AmethystMahoney.com and AmethystTarot.com. There are a lot of options for decks out there and a lot of different packages and formats that they come in. For example, you might buy a deck like this where the box opens up and there's a little white book that has the definitions and things inside. Most of the time the cards inside will be wrapped in a cellophane or a plastic wrap to protect the cards and that's also part of the manufacturing process um, to make sure that you get all 78. If the box doesn't open up sideways like this, and I, I really wanted to tell you, to warn you about this because I always forget that some boxes open like this and so inevitably as soon as I buy them I drop them and tear the box. So some of them open sideways. Most of them open from the top like this. And so the cards will come out just kind of like a regular deck of playing cards. You'll have your 78 cards and again, your little white book. And also, I always put uh, the extra cards in here. These are usually, you know, right on top. Um, there'll be a card with just an artist rendition, rendition about the deck, something about the deck with the same backs as the card. And then also, um, you know, the name of the card or some information like that. So I always take these two cards and I put them in the little white book. That way, when I put them back in the box, they're kind of separated. And that way I know that when I'm ready to use this deck again, the cards that I pull out are actually just going to be the tarot cards and not those extra ones. Now some of the other decks you might want to buy books with, and you can actually buy them as a box set like this. This is the Halloween tarot. And what happens in this case is the deck and the book are both inside the box. So you can pull the little deck out here, and then it'll have the book. And a lot of times it'll have an extra when you buy a box set. So there'll be a giant like this. And this is usually, um, almost always the ones I've seen are pretty much the Celtic cross or some variation of that. And that will be the extra fold-out that you get in the deck. But that's really good, especially for new readers, because it tells you, you know, exactly where to place your cards. It's big enough sometimes where you can just, you know, lay the card right on top of it and then see the meaning under, underneath and follow along with the spread. So I really like those. If you don't get the book and box set like that together, you can often buy the book separately on Amazon.com or a lot of other sites. So this is... Um, Barbara Moore's Companion Guide to the Gilded Tarot and um, books separate and I also have one, well I have a bunch of them but um, this is the one for Tarot of the Elves and some of them are you know really thick a lot of them like these will actually tell a story through the cards so that is what you can expect as far as boxes and packaging and in the next video we'll talk about what happens when you get the cellophane wrapper and the plastic off and open up your deck